Welcome to the channel. Uh, today it is raining all day. Supposedly got heavy rain coming here shortly, so I can't go outside. And I got a batch of chili cooking in the kitchen. I didn't film any of that because it's you just it's chili, man. Everybody knows how to make chili. Uh, sorry that my shirt's wrinkled. I don't know why. Every shirt comes out of that new dryer is wrinkled and it's getting, they're getting dry. Any of you guys experience that? It didn't happen like that in my old dryer. You don't have to, shouldn't have to iron anything anymore. I don't know if it has a different humidity level or I don't know. But I've noticed that. And I'll fold my clothes when they come out of the dryer and then I go to get them and they got wrinkles in them. Whatever. Go outside, you wear them long enough, they come out. So I don't have anything going today because it's raining, can't be outside. You know, that's terrible to film in, getting rain on the uh, lens and everything. But so far, it's been nice. It's just been a little slight drizzle about all day. But the cloud cover is heavy. My Starlink is in and out, so I can't do a live stream. I don't want to set up two live streams and... And then the internet go out, so that's no good. Then then you miss your boat there. So we'll just do this like I did the old uh, Dogman Coffees. I'll do one for each channel. Try not to repeat myself. Uh, I could go out to the shed. I got a review to do. I probably will do that later, but like I say, the internet, I can't. I'll be lucky to get one uploaded. Probably take a while. Usually when it's on, I mean, if I've got it, it's fast. But if you get some real heavy, like, storm clouds come in, and it's a really thick ceiling of clouds, then it's intermittent. It goes in and out and in and out, and you can't rely on it. That's, you know, hopefully in the spring, early spring, we get fiber here, and I'll never have to worry about that again. But there is no other options living here. Uh, you could get HughesNet. It's like direct TV or whatever. Anybody that has that here says it's garbage. They can't upload nothing. Uh, and they charge you a fortune. That's what the, some of the neighbors around here got. But Starlink is a lot more expensive. But if you're a content creator and you're constantly up, uploading videos, uh, it's what you got to use. You know, you, you got to pay for it. And what's nice about it, you know, well, like fiber will be, you know, I can power all my TVs, everything with it. And the heck, my head itches. Yeah, I can run the TVs, all, you know, watch the Roku, all that with it. Powers all your devices. Your Alex's. I ain't going to say her name. I didn't. Trying to edit, edit that video yesterday when I was messing with that Alex. Uh, she kept going off. I'm trying to edit it. And I'm sure everybody that has ones was going off. So we'll just call it that from now on. But yeah, I had to cut out a part of that. And I never did get that Bose going. I don't know what's... I cannot get that connect to connect for nothing. I watched videos. I don't know why it's... I haven't checked it today, but I don't know why it's not connecting. Because I want to put that out there so I got some good sound of music out there. So, um, there's got to be a way to factory reset it. I, I think what might have happened, but I can't remember. I had Starlink, the, the modem just quit on me one day. And it took me a couple hours to get it back up. And I think I had to change the name of something. I don't know if I changed the password or I changed the, no, I didn't change the, the what do you call it, the Wi-Fi name. I didn't change that, but maybe it's not recognizing it. Because I've had it unplugged for several months. And yesterday I went to try to hook it back up. It didn't work. And that has to be connected to your Wi-Fi as well. Because, well, it's, if you ask it to play a song, it's got to be able to have access to the Internet. But as of right now, I can't get it working. So, you know, if, if I wasn't doing this Dogtober for this month, I wouldn't even bother with a video today. But I have to put one up every day, as you know. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we're, we're kind of watching the weather because the plan was for me to go out to the rescue. And I wanted to get inside that trailer they bought and kind of determine what it needs. And 
possibly put some people together for a work day out there. But if the weather's, the, it, last I looked, it's calling for heavy, heavy rain, and I can't be gone if it's doing that, because I still don't know for sure if the French drain, there's not a drop of water in there right now, but it has. we haven't had a torrential downpour. And the only times that has ever flooded, it did it a couple of times last year. Uh, Y'all remember them videos. But it did used to flood there, uh when it had the old room but it was coming off of of the dog apartment concrete which is covered now and now it's seeping in from that one side where i put the french drain but i don't recall much coming in there the only place it came in after that i believe was that the little dirt squares that are in there and the reason those are in there is because i made the screen patio bigger than the existing uh, foundation and i'm just going to fill them in with concrete that's probably the best way to do that uh it's another another one of the unfinished projects around here but and then new things pop up like the shed and whatever we'll get to them one day you know we gotta have stuff to do what was i talking about i must have got sidetracked i do that um so i don't know if it I can't be gone if we're having torrential rains. Of course, we don't want to be out there messing around in that either. Anyway, it ain't fun to drive in. Some of the roads will flood, but they said that for today. So far, it's just been a drizzle. Uh, I've been watching the radar where my town is. It's just kind of splitting, and we're kind of getting missed by the big stuff. So I, I, I guess I can look right now. Heck. I'm doing this on a GoPro, so I don't have to worry. Uh, let's see what it says, or let me look at the radar. See what's going on. Boy, that's a big system, though. Eh, it's just in the, almost all out of Texas. Looks like it's down in, uh, here. Here. I'll show you. Here's where I, I am right here. So all, none of this yellow has really hit us. The only thing I see coming that might hit us is that. Let me put this on the uh, fast track. Yeah, see, we might get involved with some of that right there. I'm right here. But it, hey, what happened? It looks like a lot of it's, well, where did you go? The meter's still going, but I don't see no clouds. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're already past that. This is current time right there. It is going to do what it's going to do. But so far, nothing bad, but I don't know what's developing for tomorrow. If this is going to take all that time to get here for tomorrow, I don't know. Hey, better than having that. That looked like ice. I don't know what the temperature is there. This thing is just going out on me. Come on, how do I make you smaller? Not that way. Whatever. So that's what I'm dealing with. Nothing bad so far, but I don't want to be on the road if we got heavy, heavy downpours and rain and flooding and all that. So far, I haven't seen any of that. But the temperatures, ooh man, they're gonna be like, wake up Monday morning to 22 degrees. So I gotta get out there at some point between the day and Monday, make sure my well light is turned on, get the dog's water bucket out uh, so their water don't freeze. Um, any other things I need to do, I gotta get the heater in the dog apartment for them. Probably turn the heater on for the first time in here. Uh, we've had a few cold mornings like in the 30s, but the house is already warmed up So it never I never had to turn anything on it's 75 degrees in here right now But the temperature is going down. So it looks like we got three or four days of cold weather And then it's gonna warm back up again and in the like the 70s. So that'll be good Let me get rid of that. That's messing with my eyes So nothing much going on today and uh, if I was I'd have to just float around the house and take clips that would take way too much effort <laughs> to 
get anything interesting so i remember you a lot of you guys used to like when i did the coffee so we'll just sit here and we'll probably keep these to 15 minutes because they're you know they're not like a video so we'll watch the weather see if i can go or not uh if i don't they are school teachers so i'll have to it'll have to wait on next weekend and i wanted to get it done for the dogtober month but if the weather ain't gonna let it happen then i don't know what we'll do because they don't get home to like if if i do it during the week it's not going to be till after they don't get home till 4 30 so then it's pushing the point where i got to drive at night which i do not like to do i can do it but i don't prefer to drive at night it's if i do i got to wear my glasses not my contacts for some reason when i'm wearing contacts that headlights oncoming headlights just kill me but they don't do it as bad with my glasses on but now i got those stupid uh bifocal things in there i've never i don't think i've ever driven with those in uh at night so I, I just don't drive at night very often at all we had to when we took the puppies that was pretty pretty basic you know but that truck's got some good headlights the chevy you can barely see they're they're all fogged over you can barely see to drive at night and that i don't even think it has brake lights in it i'm glad i thought of that because i need to tell him about that while it's in the shop and in there a year <laughs> hopefully he gets to that soon that's got brand new tires on it man i don't these tires i'm gonna be replacing soon but just like a week before i put that shop, uh, truck in the shop I put brand new tires on it and good ones, not them cheap ones that are on that truck. Good all terrains on there. They're brand new. They haven't even knocked the little dingleberries off the side, but they got less probably than 500 miles on them. So that's the plan. You know, that was the plan to have both trucks. And then most of the going the trips to town, I use the old Chevy. You know, it's got 200 and. 40 50 thousand miles on it but it runs it runs perfect always has it had 199 thousand on it when i bought it back in 2014 now i've had to do some things to it uh nothing real major a uh, couple of slave cylinders for the clutch for some reason i don't know if those seem to go out it ain't my driving i can drive a stick but those do go out a lot on them things. Uh, I've had I put brakes on it. I changed the wheel bearings three times. Uh, I put some front end parts on it, but nothing major. Uh, pulled the intake and new gaskets and all that there. But it's just been a really good truck. I hope it's uh, having it set for a whole year isn't going to hurt it. I shouldn't and another thing that sucks is I I'd filled the gas tank before I took it there but yeah I didn't know it was gonna sit there a year so hopefully the gas is not bad in that thing he's gonna put some uh, stuff in there but yeah I would have never filled the tank up I would have put maybe a quarter tank or something in there yeah I went to the store this morning and then I filled up the tank of the truck oh man what a pain i pull in harps there the grocery store they got gas pumps i put my card in the pump and then it told me to pull my card out and then it just kept telling me to pull my card out it wouldn't the pump wouldn't set or nothing it says remove your chip card i'm like i'm, I'm screaming at the gas pump my card's out it's in my hand so i finally i just gave up and went pulled forward backed up to another pump and it wouldn't read my card at all. So finally, I went to the last pump because I couldn't get on the end because the guy was filling the, the big truck was filling the gas tanks. So I couldn't get around into there. And finally, the last one worked. But they've had some issues with those lately. But they usually got the cheapest gas, so I go there. Uh, man, I didn't think I'd ever get gas. And see, that thing has a something either the fuel the the vent for the gas tank or something that needs replaced 
because you just can't stick the pump in there and and hold it full blast it, you got to just barely squeeze it and it takes forever sometimes to put gas in that truck so i gotta fix that and that is underneath uh you gotta drop the tail or the spare tire underneath and it's supposedly in there somewhere i have to watch videos that's something i can do because uh, the hardest thing about it's probably dropping that spare tire anyway i'm gonna hop over and do another one for washita mountain uh yeah this ain't gonna be 20 minutes it'll be close we'll, we can yak for another minute or two we'll get them close and i you know when I say I'm going to put a 20 minute video on each channel, but some of them go 25, 30 minutes. So in the end, it doesn't matter if one of these is 15, 16 minutes. They still do well. Videos tend to do better. I've seen if you make a good 25, 30 minute video, they get more views. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's me. I like to pick on the longer ones like if it's evening because I don't want to have to be picking videos every 10 minutes. So I'll pick the longer ones to watch. I usually save like my script garage and that for my evenings. And then I'll go sit in my recliner and watch them. But if I see somebody's got a 7 minute video. I probably won't even mess with it. Unless it's somebody I know or something. So that they seem to do better. I don't know if there's any truth to that. Uh, and it, they got to be over probably at least 10 minutes then they do okay but 15 20 minutes seem to be pretty good that's a pretty good long i mean that's that's like a half hour show with the commercials which i don't see commercials anymore because i got the premium which is worth it because some of them drug commercials come those are the ones i hate the worst the drug commercials they want everybody on drugs all right, guys, we'll go ahead and end this. Uh, I'll put another one. I'll probably take a little break. I got chili cooking. It's hot now. <laughs> oh, I messed up on that. I froze the sauce that I made, the homemade sauce. And I put the containers in the freezer in the, in the kitchen. Well, I pulled one out and stuck it in there with the beans and the chili. It thawed while it was cooking. It was spaghetti sauce, which... Ain't a lot of difference, but I had Italian sausage in it. So I've got chili with Italian sausage in it. It probably won't be bad. We'll have to see. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry. No action today. It's out of my hands. The weather is bad. It's rainy. It ain't bad yet. So thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Happy trails.